Hey, welcome back. I'm Lance from Kremen, and today we're gonna switch out a collet and guide bushing on a Citizen Swiss lathe. So from the last video, we have our program loaded, we have our bar loader set. Now we're going to start into the main spindle and setting the collet and the guide bushing because of the size of material got smaller from what we were running. So first things first, we're gonna break the nut loose on your main spindle with the uh, spanning wrenches that have been provided by the machine. Simply reach in, twist the main nut off. Once the nut is off, it exposes the collet and the spindle sleeve. We'll remove the old collet. We'll set that to the side so we don't get it mixed up with anything else. The next step is I will take a rag, I will wipe the inside of the spindle liner and the outside of the nut off. Make sure your threads are clean on both the nut and your spindle. This is your main spindle nut. This gets put on your main spindle and actually holds the collet in. The collet rides on a lining and the lining moves back and forth and that's what adjusts your tension on your collet. Inside the machine is superimposed. This is what it looks like if you're looking down the spindle. Place that back in the machine. Should be a slip fit. If you have to pound it in at any given time, your collet is going in crooked. Remove, wipe it off, try it again. Once again, should be a slip fit. Grab your wrench, replace the front spindle nut, and tighten down. So once you have your new collet in, we're gonna take the back tension off the spindle so we have a little bit more room to slide our new material through. So with the collet unlocked, we're gonna reach here in the back. We're gonna undo the set screw on the spanning wrench, spanning nut. We'll just back this off. Once it's loose, you can back it off by hand. Now that I've backed off the adjustment nut for the new collet, to adjust for the new steel, I'm going to drop the bar into the machine and move the bar forward through the machine. We want the material sticking out of the collet, which we just replaced. And this is where we're going to fine tune the collet to the new material size. When fine adjusting your collet on your L32 spindle, there is a jam nut that we will be adjusting. We will be adjusting this and moving in little turns, quarter turns at a time, while checking the tightness with our collet. How I like to adjust it is I will go forward until the machine alarms out and tells me that the collet is too tight. So I will, I will repeat this process until I get a red light. Once you have your red light, the machine alarms out. What I like to do is since we're running aluminum, I will back it off one eighth of a turn. and lock my set screw. From there, I will check the adjustability again just by hitting the chuck, and unchuck, clamp, and unclamp switch. Everything functions properly. I'll move on to the guide bushing. With the main collet adjusted, we are going to replace the guide bushing. We're gonna pull out the old one, we're gonna put the new one in. The guide bushing in these machines is what gives it it's such close tolerances it's able to keep. We'll start by putting the wrench inside the four slots. With this machine being so big, it comes with a nifty screw holder, so you don't have to try and bear hug the machine. From the back side, there is going to be a set screw. We will loosen the set screw. That set screw is connected to a jam nut that threads on the back of your guide bushing. With the set screw loosened, we'll reach in and break the jam nut loose and thread the jam nut out of the machine. With the jam nut out of the machine, we will set that to the side. We'll come back over to the front and we will take the wrench out of the front bearing pack and we will remove the guide bushing from the sleeve. Once again, I will set that to the side as not to get it mixed up with the new setup we're putting in. I will take a rag and I will wipe out the inside of that bearing on both the front and the back of the machine. 
And along with the jam nut, we will also wipe this off and blow it off. We will look for any chips, dings, dents that might be in the face that rests against the collet, as this will affect the way that it tightens up against the collet. My jam nut looks good, so I will grab the new guide bushing. These have a keyway on them, and there is actually a key inside there that has a drive pin. These need to be lined up or the guide bushing will not go back in. What I like to do is I'll find that drive pin, I'll rotate that drive pin so it's at the top. So whenever I put my guide bushing in, I know that my slot should always be on top. With the slot on top, the guide bushing should slide in place. If at any time you find yourself pounding on that guide bushing to put that in, it is wrong. Remove the guide bushing, find your drive pin, get that lined up. If it binds, it'll create a headache for you. With that in the front, I'll take my jam nut and I'll start putting this on the back side of my collet. I will thread that on as far as I can by hand. I will go back to the front. I'll grab my guide bushing wrench and reinstall this in the front side of the bearing pack. I'll move to the back side. I'll grab the material by hand and slowly feed that through the guide bushing. Just as your guide bushing, as the material comes out of the guide bushing, I like to go about five or six inches before I start adjusting. And with the wrench, I will go on the back side of the jam nut and slowly start tightening this in just till I can no longer do it by hand. At that point in time, I will take a piece of brass and what I'm looking for here is resistance as I pound backwards. A very light tap shows me that my guide bushing is very loose and material slams back. So from the back side, I will start adjusting by hand and slowly tightening the guide bushing. It's easier to get this going forward if you don't get it right, you can just back it back off, but then you're starting all back over again about where you're, where you're starting from. Give it another little tap. Has a little bit more resistance. I don't need to turn it as far this time. So reach back in here. Another little fine tune adjustment. Come back out here, tap the material. I go as little as possible because it is easier going forward than it is starting all back over. So little adjustments will get you further in the long run. I just repeat this process back and forth until I like to feel what I call resistance. You don't want the guide bushing to clamp right on down and to prevent it from going backwards at all. You're looking for resistance. I like where that's at. I feel like it's not gonna slip. And we will take the wrench off the front. We will take the wrench off the back. And I'll use my little Allen wrench and set my set screw so my jam nut does not back off my collet and lose my tension. Once I know I have resistance, the material just no longer slides back in the guide bushing. I adjust my screws, I check my tightness one more time, and then I know that I'm set. So now with our collet and our guide bushing now set, we are gonna back the material out of the machine simply by going to a manual button and just backing it off manually, pulling it out of the guide bushing. Once the material has been backed out of the guide bushing, I'll reach in by hand and just shove it back into the bar feeder. Back here on the bar feeder, we'll grab the, the bar, pull it out, we're gonna set it inside the chamber. Once the bar is in the chamber, we'll step back to the keypad we will turn on the bar loader and we're gonna auto load this bar into the machine. At that point in time, the bar loader is gonna take the measurements, it's gonna know how long the bar is, and it's gonna calculate from our MC data page about how many parts per bar we can get off this bar. From here, we'll turn the bar loader on. We'll go over menu select. We're gonna find the bar set. and We're gonna click five. Five is gonna automatically load our bar and do the measurements and everything that we need for it. Hit five, input. Cycle start, and it's gonna tell you everything that's happening right here on the bottom of the screen. Right now the bar is being lifted up. It's being put into the bar chamber. 
Now the bar loader is pushing it forward to take that measurement to so the bar, the, the bar loader and the machine know how long it is. The bar loader is retracting back home. The top channel is gonna go close and it's gonna introduce the bar into the bar loader collet that we set previously. The bar loader pushed the bar far enough forward that right now it's resting on the back side of our guide bushing. And right now it's looking for us to close the collet. After we close the collet, we will feed the material out just so it's at the face of the guide bushing. And with that, your collet, your guide bushing, your bar loader are now all ready to cut apart. Now that we've set the collet and the guide bushing, coming up in the next video is setting the tools. So make sure you like and subscribe, and you won't miss it.